What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another watch list cleanout. It's time to sanitize my watch list on eBay for items that have sold. We've got loose complete figures, we've got bootlegs, prototype proof cards, one comic book, and some loose graded figures, maybe a few mint on cards. It's a pretty wide assortment, and when I have a bunch of different items that don't fit under one category, I make these videos. So let's go ahead and dig right in. The first one we've got is a UKG 85% Hong Kong Farm Boy, and this has got the brand new case style, beautiful figure. Look how clean and crisp that one is, and that one sold for 258 pounds, which is 322 us dollars that to me seems like a really fair price for a nice high grade luke farm boy prices are definitely down on common items even on really high grade common items and this is a perfect example of that but that's a beauty uh, next up was that painted helmet taiwan boba fett that was loose complete ungraded and i had this one in my what to buy video it wasn't perfect it had a little bit of wear to the chest armor there as well as on the the belt around his waist but it's a painted helmet fet very very tough to find this version it only appeared i believe on return of the jedi cards and maybe on the droids card back but uh, just a tough variation to find for Boba Fett. And in very, very high grade during the height of the bo book of Boba Fett, I'm talking like AFA 85s, they were going for almost $2,000, believe it or not. It was just insane. Uh, this one sold for $330. Great buy on that one, assuming that it's the correct weapon. Uh, I don't know for a fact on that, but it looks like it's the correct weapon. Uh, $330 for a painted helmet Fett that would probably grade out at a 75 plus or an 80 Pretty good buy there. Uh, next up, I've got some baggies. And the first one is a Hong Kong baggie for the Stormtrooper. Obvious yellowing to the limbs. You can really notice it on the shoulders there. Uh, so by no means a perfect figure. Probably a 75 grade baggie. That one sold for $162.50. And then there were four. Four different baggies that all ended right around the same time for Luke Jedi. And they were different baggies too. So this one is a kind of an overstock baggie with no writing on it. That one sold for $154 and change. Uh, this one is, I believe, the Taiwan baggie. Let's see here. Uh, I think it's the, yeah, the, the Made in Taiwan baggie for Luke Jedi. That one sold for $202. And then this one was, I believe, a Hong Kong bag. No, this was also a Taiwan baggie, but a little bit cleaner than the last one that just sold. Less crinkles and kind of wear to the bag. That one sold for $225 on 38 bids, so lots of action on that one. And then this one is the Hong Kong baggie. That one sold also for $225 and change. So pretty wide range there, but there were three different kinds of baggies. The Taiwan, two Hong Kongs, and then an overstock baggie. That ranged from 150 to two, to 225. Next up was a mint on card 32 back Luke Farm Boy unpunched. It did have some card curl and some light edge wear, but that's a beauty. That's a really really nice example. Probably would grade out at about an 80 after you flattened it in a star case. That one sold for 1255, 1,255 dollars plus shipping on that mint on card Luke Farm Boy ESB card back clear blister beauty. Uh, next up was an AFA yellowed 80 45 back Leia Bespin. This one did have the Toys R Us price sticker in an unfortunate placement there, but it was a yellowed 80, very light yellowing to the blister, maybe moderate yellowing. That one sold for 406. I thought that was a pretty good buy. Clear blister. This would probably set you back closer to seven, eight hundred dollars, somewhere in that ballpark would be my guess on that. So pretty good buy there. Uh, next up was a loose gridded Leia Hoth. This one was an AFA 85. This one was the brown haired version. The red haired version can go for quite a bit more money. Uh, this one sold for 164 in change plus $8 shipping. AFA 85, brand new case style. Uh, this one is a Lily Letty Han Bespin, UKG 80%. This one is the Regresso version of Han because it comes with the Bespin style blaster. Made in the U made in the uh, Lily Letty factory uh, in Mexico. The Returno version is the expensive one. That one has a painted buckle on the back of the figure and comes with the DL44 blaster. So this is the less rare of the two different Lily Letty Han Bespins, and the price reflected that 80 bucks or excuse me 80 pounds, which is 99 U.S. dollars and change. Pretty good buy on that one, I think, for a nice foreign 
vintage variant. Uh, several Yodas sold. This was a UKG 90% Yoda brown snake. That one sold for 256 pounds, which is 320 US dollars. Very expensive, but uh, it is a UKG 90%. So very, very pricey there. I thought this was a really great buy if you could live with kind of the older K style. It was a custom Power of the Force coin for Yoda, along with a UKG 85% brown snake yoda now you know again the, the figure is kind of encased in a you know older case style but it comes with the coin and the power of the force mint on card yoda is very very pricey a thousand dollars or more in high grade uh, that one sold for 165 which is 205 us dollars that was a bargain in my mind uh, next up was an afa 90 size snoodles and that one sold for $227.50, which I thought, again, was another really good buy. AFA 90s are not easy to get for this figure because of all the spots on the figure. You can get wear really easily. And, uh, you know, AFA 90 silver microphone. There obviously is a black microphone version as well. But uh, that's a really good buy in my mind for a loose graded size snoodles. I love the lips. Beautiful lips on, on size snoodles. Uh, next up was that Revenge of the Jedi proof card for the AT-AT driver. I had this in my What to Buy video. It was at auction, AFA-80 archival case, unpunched proof card. Beautiful example. That one sold for $13.76. Uh, that, to me, seems like a pretty fair deal. It seems like AFA-80s or 80-pluses for secondary characters like the AT-AT driver, you're going to be paying between $12 and $1,500. So this one kind of fell right in line with that number. $1,376 for the AFA-80 AT-AT driver, Revenge Proof. Here is that beautiful Clone Wars newsstand. And this had several signatures on it. It had D. Baker signature who voiced Captain Rex. It had, uh, let's see, Matt Lanter who voiced Anakin. It had James Arnold Taylor, who voiced Obi-Wan, and then obviously Ashley Eckstein, who voiced Ahsoka Tano. So beautiful, beautiful 9.6 grade signature series, Clone Wars 1, and this one was a newsstand. So that's that's a stunner. And as I talked about in my What to Buy video, a 9.8 grade newsstand Clone Wars 1 can go for as much as six to $7,000. And this 9.6 sold for $2,600. I thought that was a really good deal. It's very tough to find all four voice actors for the Clone Wars animated series on such a iconic newsstand version of Clone Wars number one. So $2,600 took that home. Uh, next up, I've got a Kia Mall. One of them graded, one of them ungraded. And here was a UKG 85%. Uh, loose graded Kia Mall. This one sold for 110 pounds, which is 137 US dollars. And then this was the ungraded version for the same figure. That one sold for $96. So I thought this one was a really good buy, given that you're only paying about 40 bucks more and you're getting it already graded. It, it's got to cost $40 or more to get it graded plus shipping to and from UKG. So I thought that was a really good buy there. Uh, here is a TIG from Loose Ungraded. That one sold for $480. So TIG from and size from, even loose and ungraded, continue to com command big money. This one did have some wear somewhere on it, uh, on the hand there. You can see a little bit of wear to the hand, but this one was in much better shape than another one that sold fairly recently on eBay uh, for not much less than this. So this was a good buy. This is probably an AFA 80 example at, at worst. Uh, so 480 took that one home. Next up was a loose complete A-wing fighter with working electronics. What a stunner. That one sold for $437 plus shipping. So I thought that was a good buy there, although it, it maybe is missing some stickers, maybe not, or just some light wear to the sticker on that one there. Uh, but still pretty pretty good value there. It was looks like it was missing the battery cover on it. Uh, no, there it is. There's the battery cover right there, lower left-hand corner. So it was advertised as working electronics and complete. And I, I don't know enough about these to know if these were missing any of the stickers, but it, it certainly was in pretty good shape there for $437. Mint and sealed box, high grade examples can go back, can set you back over a thousand bucks. So pretty good deal on that. Uh, I've got a loose complete Luke Endor Poncho. 
uh, last 17 figure, and I also have a loose graded ver uh, version. This one sold for $243.50, and then the UKG 90% sold for $340 US dollars. So this is another example where maybe it's worth probably paying up to get a UKG 90% you're not taking any grading risk here because it's already been graded or grading cost risk because it's already been graded versus this one that is ungraded. And this one did have a little bit of a spot on the hand there, which is a common problem with the Luke Endor. Uh, but given the price disparity between the loose ungraded versus the loose graded, I thought this was a fantastic deal for a straight 90s Luke Endor Poncho, 340 US dollars. That was a bargain. And then finally, I got one Polish bootleg. This was a third generation Polish bootleg from the mid 1990s for General Lando Calrissian. That one sold for about 140 US dollars, 112 pounds on that one. That one was in really stunning condition, as most 1995 ish third generation Polish bootlegs are. It was towards the end of the manufacturing run for these bootlegs, so most of them were in really good shape. Anyway, I hope you like this watch list video. It's kind of a, a big mishmash of different items, but uh, anytime I get my watch list kind of overloaded, I like to kind of offload these items and show them to you. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll be back soon.